accounting for our actions in as many ways as possible. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 492. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing together the people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable, regenerative, and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. This is our August 28th, 2022 edition of our weekly progress update. And today's topic is accounting for our actions in as many ways as possible. And this topic came from uh, my permaculture certification with Jeff Lawton, where he talked about permaculture as a way of accounting for our actions in as many ways as possible. And so everything you see happening in the background of this video are the foundations for this, the physical foundations. But our project really is dealing with so much more than that, because when we talk about accounting for our actions in as many ways as possible, we're not just talking about our physical foundations, our food, energy, and housing actions, which are huge. Those are massive contributors to the global uh, sustainability. I mean, global sustainability. It's like how our, whether or not we're choosing to grow our food with herbicides, pesticides, and fungicides, poison is a choice. And those poisons, you know, when you look at people spraying those, they wear hazmat suits because it's just so detrimental to the human being. And of course it kills everything else as well. It's poisoning our environment. So whether or not we choose to do that is accounting for our actions in relationship to food. You can do the same thing in relationship to housing. You know, whether or not we choose to build our houses with toxic materials, with adhesives and with carpeting and with, uh, you know, paints and things of those nature that are toxic and that go into our groundwater, they poison our environments, they t are toxic to us as well, of course. You know, that's accounting for our physical environment. You know, whether or not we decide to build and construct sustainable infrastructure or non-sustainable infrastructure, whether or not we look at it saying like, okay, well, is this running on fossil fuels? And is this, you know, what is the, what is the complete carbon footprint of this choice? That's accounting for our ener energy infrastructure and where we're getting our power from. But then there's also the emotional foundations of sustainability, and we're looking at accounting for those as well. And so permaculture looks at like the complete systems and how they're all interrelated. And so for us, when we look at accounting for the emotional foundations of our lives, we're looking at several different categories there as well. And those categories are fulfilled living, uh, what we call highest good approaches to education. So accounting for the highest good, the best way to teach education that is in the highest good of the student, it's in highest good of the teacher and the educator as well, and it's in the highest good of humanity. It's also highest good approaches to economics and true earth stewardship. And so by putting all these things together, we're accounting for our actions in as many ways as possible by looking at the complete human experience and saying, how can we create the complete human experience so that it is, of course, better than the way that most people are living right now, but most specifically for the highest good of all people and all life on this planet. It's accounting for our actions in many ways as possible to create a better world for everybody, to create a world that works for everyone. And so in doing this and creating this, we're creating a model that puts these physical foundations that are accounting for all these things and these emotional foundations that are accounting for all these things together in one place and developing it, developing it to be a teacher demonstration hub designed so that people from around the world can come and experience it, visit it. If they like what they see, they can take it and replicate it for themselves all over the world. Like we have the ability to create a sustainable world for everyone through a self-replicating model like this. We can create a model that provides a better way of living for people and we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, so it can be replicated anywhere in the world. And we have the ability now through the internet and through technological advances to communicate and collaborate. We as an organization of 600 plus volunteers already have volunteers on every continent except for Antarctica working with us. We have the ability to cooperate and collaborate globally to spread a model like this and provide access and to provide the resources, the knowledge, the education necessary to be able to replicate it anywhere around the world. And we're creating solution models accounting accountable solution models designed to create additional solution creating models 
teacher demonstration hubs designed to teach other people how to create teacher demonstration hubs. And the more we create, the more access we have. The more access we have, the more people we educate, the more people we expose to what it is that we're doing, the more open source tools, tutorials, and resources we create so it becomes even easier to replicate this. And the more diverse the foundations, the, the values foundations are for the organization. So people that might not be interested in world change like we are, still have a place that they could go and create something like this. Or if we open as open source and free shared, People can just take what it is that we're creating and create whatever values they want. Maybe it's a prepper community. You know, maybe it's a community based on wanting to just play music all day long. It could be an art-based community. It could be a community for homeless people. You know, it could be a community for any value system that you want. And so we're open sourcing and free sharing all these foundations built with the consciousness and the mentality of like, how can we create this for the highest good of all people in life on this planet? How can we create it modularly? So that people that don't want to create teacher demonstration hubs still have something so we can create something for everybody. You know, maybe somebody's only interested in the food component. Or maybe somebody's only interested in the housing component. Or maybe somebody is only interested in the energy component. I did hundreds of hours of research just on installing your own remote energy infrastructure and what that would look like if you wanted to grid tie versus not grid tie and looking at the exchange rate and the different credits that you could use to be able to sell power back to the grid if you're grid tied. Well, that's useful to people that might not be interested in our project at all. You know, we've done hundreds of hours of research on recycling. You know, on this, on the highest good stewardship approach and global stewardship of recycling glass and plastic and clothing and styrofoam, and we're working on non-recyclables as well. Like all those different components, those are useful to everybody. And we research it from a perspective of like, wow, if we want to count for our actions as many ways as possible, like let's look at our waste and not only as a community that will be inviting people as an ecotourism destination to visit us, we know that we will have thousands and thousands of people bringing their waste from outside the community. So even if we reduce and elim or eliminate those things in our own environment, we'll be having other people bring those in. And so the question is, is like, well, how do we deal with that as a community? And then we say, well, if we're doing this, like this is a community solution for any community. So how would this be applied in just any traditional urban environment? Say somebody wanted to start a business of clothing recycling using our model, what would that look like? Or say somebody wanted to start a business of recycling plastic, not by taking it and turning it in, which has been demonstrated as a non-cost effective method and really is not a solution, but instead actually turning that into usable products locally and then turn and then reusing those and selling those instead. What does that look like? And so we've created all those solutions. And so our idea and what we're doing and have already done, like just through our, our, our recycling resources alone, we can say that we've provided something for everybody. But we want to do that in each of these categories, in the food, the energy, the housing, the fulfilled living category as well through, through live streaming, a lot of our social and recreation events and open sourcing those, the models for those as well, through the education, the economics, true stewardship, open sourcing, free sharing, all that, providing something for everyone in each of those different categories and putting it all together as the complete environment that we make easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough to spread on its own so that we can build teacher demonstration, a global cooperative of teacher demonstration hubs, teaching people around the world what accounting for our actions as many ways as possible looks like and how that benefits us as individuals, how it gives more than it takes, how it benefits our local communities, how it benefits our regional communities, and how it benefits us globally and ultimately as a pathway to global sustainability. So this is what we're up to. This is what we're creating. We're a 100% volunteer organization. We're creating this because we want to live this way. We're creating this because we see a sustainable planet within our lifetime. And if you'd like to help, visit our helping page. If you'd like to see what we're doing, visit our website, our weekly progress update blog. If you'd like bullet points on all the major components, stick around for a couple more minutes. But just know that as we're working towards this and we're creating these foundations for accounting for our actions in as many ways as possible, we are literally addressing every aspect of the human experience and looking at what it looks like to create a sustainable civilization. So, yeah, thanks for watching. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. 
One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is Highest Good Education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to Highest Good Education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.